1789. How does the bastard, orphan, immigrant, decorated war vet Unite the colonies through more debt Fight the other founding fathers till he has to forfeit Have it all, lose it all, you ready for more yet? Treasury Secretary, Washington's the president Every American experiment sets a precedent Not so fast, someone came along to resist him Pissed him off until we had a two-party system You haven't met him yet, you haven't had the chance Cause he's been kicking ass as the ambassador to France But someone's gotta keep the American can't promise you simply must meet Thomas, Thomas And the world still spins I have Lafayette drafted declarations And I said I gotta go I gotta be in Monticello Now the work at home begins So what did I miss? What did I miss? Mm. Virginia, my home sweet home I wanna give you a kiss I basically missed the late 80s I traveled the wide, wide world And came back to this There's a letter on my desk from the president Haven't even put my bag down yet Sally, be a lamb, darling, won't you open it? It says the president's assembled in a cabinet And then I end up being the secretary of state Great, and I'm already saying it approved I just got home and now I'm headed up to New York the rolling fields, I can't believe that we are free. Ready to face whatever's awaiting me in NYC. But who's waiting for me when I step in the place? My friend James Madison, red in the face. He grabs my arm and I respond, What's going on? Thomas, we are engaged in a battle for our nation's very soul. You get us out of the mess we're in oh. Hamilton's new financial plan is nothing less than government control I've been fighting for the South alone Where have you been, uh, France? Oh. We have to win well, What did I miss? What, what, what did I miss? What did I miss? Head first into a political abyss Head first into the abyss First cabinet meeting today yeah, I guess I better think of something to say I'm already gone my way To get to the bottom of this What did I miss? Oh. Mr. Jefferson, welcome home Mr. Jefferson, Alexander Hamilton Mr. Jefferson, welcome home Mr. Jefferson, welcome home, sir What did I miss? Ladies and gentlemen, you could have been anywhere in the world tonight, but you're here with us in New York City. Are you ready for a cabinet meeting, huh? The issue on the table, Secretary Hamilton's plan to assume state debt and establish a national bank. Secretary Jefferson, you have the floor, sir. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness we fought for these ideals, we shouldn't settle for less These are wise words, enterprising men quote them Don't act surprised, you guys, cause I wrote them Ow, but Hamilton forgets His plan would have the government assume state sense Now place your bets as to who that benefits The very seat of government where Hamilton sits Not true Ooh, if the shoe fits, wear it If New York's in debt, why should Virginia bear it? 
Uh, our debts are paid, I'm afraid. Don't tax the South, cause we got it made in the shade. In Virginia, we plant seeds in the ground. We create, you just wanna move our money around. This financial plan is an outrageous demand, and it's too many damn pages for any man to understand. Stand with me in the land of the free. Pray to God we never see Hamilton's candidacy. Look, when Britain taxed our tea, we got frisky. Imagine what gon' happen when you try to tax our whiskey. Thank you, Secretary Jefferson. Secretary Hamilton, your response. Thomas, that was a real nice declaration. Welcome to the present, we're running a real nation. Would you like to join us? Or staying mellow, doing whatever the hell it is you doing, Monticello. If we assume the debts, the union gets a new line of credit, a financial diuretic, how do you not get it? If we're aggressive and competitive, the union gets a boost, you'd rather give it a sedative? A civics lesson from a slaver, hey neighbor, your debts are paid cause you don't pay for labor. We plant seeds in the south, we create and keep ranting, we know who's really doing the planting. And another thing, Mr. Age of Enlightenment, don't lecture me about the war, you didn't fight in it. You think I'm frightened of you, man? We almost died in the trench. Well, you were off getting high with the French. Thomas Jefferson always hesitant with the president. Medicine, there isn't a plan he doesn't jettison. Madison, you mad as a hat, so take your medicine. Damn, you in worse shape than the national debt is in. Sitting there useless as two shits. Hey, turn around, bend over, I'll show you where my shoe fits. Excuse me. Madison, Jefferson, take a walk. Hamilton, take a walk. We're gonna reconvene after a brief recess. Hamilton, sir, a word. You don't have the votes. You don't have the votes. <laughs> You're gonna need congressional approval and you don't have the votes. Such a blunder, sometimes it makes me wonder why I even bring the thunder. Why he even brings the thunder? You want to pull yourself together? I'm sorry, these Virginians are birds of a feather. Young man, I'm from Virginia, so watch your mouth. So we let Congress get held hostage by the South? You need the votes. No, we need bold strokes. We need this no, plan. No, you need to convince more folks. Well, James Madison won't talk to me. That's a non-starter. Ah, winning was easy, young man. Governing's hard. They're being intransigent. You have to find a compromise. But they don't have a plan. They just hate mine. Convince them otherwise. And what happens if I don't get congressional approval? I imagine they'll call for your removal. Sir, figure it out, Alexander. That's an order from your commander. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf. Good. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, six, sept, huit, neuf. Set wheat nuff, set wheat nuff, set wheat nuff, nuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My dearest Angelica, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. I trust you'll understand the reference to another Scottish tragedy without my having a name to play. They think me Macbeth. Ambition is my folly. I'm a polymath, a pain in the ass, a massive pain. Madison is Banquo, Jefferson's Macduff, and Burnham Wood is Congress on its way to Dunsany. And there you are, an ocean away. Do you have to live an ocean away? Thoughts of you subside, then I get another letter And I cannot put the notion away Take a break I'm on my way There's a little surprise before supper And it cannot wait I'll be there in just a minute, save my plate Alexander, okay, okay. your son is nine years old today He has something he'd like to say He's been practicing all day Philip, take it away Daddy, daddy, look my name is Philip, I am a poet I wrote this poem just to show it And I just turned nine You can write rhymes, but you can't write mine what? I practice French and play piano with my mother uh -huh. I have a sister, but I want a little brother okay. My daddy's trying to start America's bank Take a break Hey, our kid is pretty great Run away with us for the summer, let's go upstate I've got so much on my plate We can all go stay with my father There's a lake I know In a nearby park to go. You and I can go When the night gets dark I will try to get away My dearest Alexander You must get through to Jefferson Sit down with him and compromise Don't stop till you agree Your favorite older sister Angelica reminds you 
There's someone in your corner all the way across the sea. In a letter I received from you two weeks ago, I noticed a comma in the middle of a phrase. It changed the meaning. Did you intend this? One stroke and you've consumed my waking days. It says, my, my dearest Angelica. With a comma after dearest, you've written my, my dearest Angelica. Anyway, all this to say, I'm coming home this summer at my sister's invitation. I'll be there with your family if you make your way upstate. I know you're very busy, I know your work's important, but I'm crossing the ocean and I just can't wait. You won't be an ocean away, you will only be a moment away. Alexander, come downstairs, Angelica's arriving today. Sisters, Alexander. Hi. It's good to see your face. Angelica, tell this man John Adams spends the summer with his family. Angelica, tell my wife John Adams doesn't have a real job anyway. You're not joining us. Wait. I'm afraid I cannot join you upstate. Alexander, I came all this way. She came all this I have to get my plan through Congress. Run away with us for the summer, let's go upstate. I lose my job if we don't get this plan through Congress. We'll all go stay with our father. There's a lake I know. The wall is your name. Screw your guards to the sticky place. I can go. I cry. Take a break. Run away with us for the summer, let's go upstate. Where we can stay. We can all go stay with our Congress. I can't stop till I get this plan through Congress. There's nothing like summer in the city. Someone under stress meets someone looking pretty. There's trouble in the air, you can smell it And Alexander's by himself, I'll let him tell it I hadn't slept in a week, I was weak, I was awake You've never seen a bastard orphan more in need of a break Longing for Angelica, missing my wife That's when Miss Mariah Reynolds walked into my life, she said I know you are a man of honor I'm so sorry to bother you at home But I don't know where to go and I came here all alone She said My husband's doing me wrong Beating me, cheating me, mistreating me Suddenly he's up and gone I don't have the means to go on So I offered her a loan I offered to walk her home She said You're too kind, sir I gave her 30 bucks that I had socked away She lived a block away She said This one's mine, sir Then I said Well, I should head back home She turned red She led me to a bed Let her legs spread and said Stay Hey that's when I began to pray, Lord, show me how to say no to this I don't know how to say no to this But my God, she looks so helpless And her body's saying, hell yes No, show me how to say no to this I don't know how to say no to this In my mind, I'm trying to go Then her mouth is on mine and I don't say No, no was the last time I said that last time it became a pastime a month into this endeavor I received a letter from a Mr. James Reynolds even better it said 
Dear sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health And in a prosperous enough position to put wealth In the pockets of people like me Down on their luck, you see That was my wife who decided to Uh oh, you made the wrong sucker a cucko So time to pay the pipe before the pants you want buckle And hey, you can keep seeing my whole wife If the price is right If not, I'm telling you your wife I hit the letter and I raced to a place Screamed, I'll cut you in the face She said, no Apologetic, a mess, she looked pathetic, she cried Please don't go, sir So what's your whole story, you said I don't know about any letters Stop crying, goddammit, get up I didn't know any better I am ruined, please don't leave me I am helpless. helpless, how could I do this? Just give him what he wants and you can help me I don't me. want you, Whatever I don't want, want you if you Nobody needs to know Ah, Mr. Secretary. Mr. Burr. Sir. And did you hear the news about good old General Mercer? No. You know Claremont Street? Yeah. They renamed it after him. The Mercer Legacy is secure. Sure. And all he had to do was die. Yeah, that's a lot less work. We ought to give it a try. <laughs> now, how you going to get your debt plan through? I guess I'm going to finally have to listen to you. Really? Talk less. Smile more. <laughs> Do whatever it takes to get my plan on the Congress floor. The Madison and Jefferson are merciless. Well, hate the sin, love the sinner. Hamilton. I'm sorry, Burr, I gotta go. But decisions are happening over dinner. Two Virginians and an immigrant walk into a room diametrically opposed foes. They emerge with a compromise, having open doors that were previously closed. Bros. The immigrant emerges with unprecedented financial power, a system he can shape however he wants. The Virginians emerge with the nation's capital. And here's the pièce de résistance. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one really knows how the game is played. Of the trade, how the sausage gets made. We just assume that it happens. But no one else is in the room where it happens. Thomas Clay. Alexander was on Washington's doorstep one day in distress and disarray. Thomas Clay. Alexander said, I've nowhere else to turn. And basically begged me to join the fray. Thomas Clay. I approached Madison and said, I know you hate him, but let's hear what he has to say. Thomas Clay. Well, I arranged the meeting. I arranged the menu, the venue, the seating. But no one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one really knows how the parties get to yes. The pieces that are sacrificed in every game of chess. We just assume that it happens. But no one else is in the room where it happens. Meanwhile, Madison is grappling with the fact that not every issue can be settled by committee. Meanwhile, Congress is fighting over where to put the capital. <laughs> It isn't pretty. Then Jefferson approaches with the dinner and invite, and Madison responds with Virginian insight. Maybe we can solve one problem with another and win the victory for the Southerners. In other words, ho, ho. a quid pro quo. I suppose. Wouldn't you like to work a little closer to home? Actually, I would. Well, I propose the Potomac. And you'll provide him his vote. Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's go. No. What else was in the room where it happened? The room where it happened? The room where it happened? No one 
else has in the room where it happened to Alexander Hamilton. What did they say to you to get you to sell New York City down the river? Alexander Hamilton. Did Washington know about the dinner? Was the presidential pressure to deliver? Alexander Hamilton. Or did you know even then it doesn't matter where you put the U.S. Capitol? Cause we all have the banks. We're in the same spot. You got more than you gave. And I wanted what I got. When you got skin in the game, you stay in the game. But you don't get a win unless you play in the game Oh, you get love for it, you get hate for it You get nothing if you wait for it, wait for it, wait God help and forgive me I wanna build something that's gonna outlive me What do you want, girl? What do you want, girl? What do you want, girl? If you stand for nothing, girl, what do you fall for? I, I wanna be in the room where it happens The room where it happens I Wanna be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. I wanna be in the room where it happens. I wanna be in the room where it happens. Saying what they trade away We dream of a brand new start But we dream in the dark for the most part Dark as a tomb where it happens I've got to be in the room where it happens I've got to be in the room where it happens I've got to be in the room where it happens I've got to be in the room where it happens I gotta be, I gotta be, I gotta be in the room where it happens Paper. War hero Philip Schuyler loses Senate seat to young upstart Aaron Burr. Grandpa just lost his seat in the Senate. Sometimes that's how it goes. Daddy's gonna find out any minute. I'm sure he already knows. Further down, further, further down, down, let's meet the newest senator from New York. New York, our senator. Burr? Since when are you a Democratic Republican? Since being one put me on the up and up again. No one knows who you are or what you do. They don't need to know me, they don't like you. Excuse Old me? Old Wall Street thinks you're great. You'll always be adored by the things you create. But upstate, Wait. people think you're crooked. The scholar seat was up for grabs, so I took it. I've always considered you a friend. I don't see why that has to win. You changed parties to run against my father-in-law. I changed parties to seize the opportunity I saw. I swear your pride will be the death of us all. Beware, it goeth before the fall. The issue on the table. France is on the verge of war with England. Now do we provide aid and troops to our French allies or do we stay out of it? Remember, my decision on this matter is not subject to congressional approval. The only person you have to convince is me. Secretary Jefferson, you have the floor, sir. When we were on death's door when we were needy, we made a promise. We signed a treaty. We needed money and guns and half a chance. Uh, who provided those funds? France. In return, they didn't ask for land. Only a promise that we'd lend a hand and stand with them if they fought against oppressors. And revolution is messy, but now is the time to stand. Stand with our brothers as they fight against tyranny. I know that Alexander Hamilton is here and he would rather not have this debate. I'll remind you that he is not Secretary of State. He knows nothing of loyalty. Smells like new money, dresses like fake royalty. Desperate to rise above his station. Everything he does betrays the ideals of our nation. If you don't know, now you know, Mr. President. Thank you, Secretary Jefferson. Secretary Hamilton, your response. Come on. You must be out of your goddamn mind if you think the president is gonna bring the nation to the brink of meddling in the middle of a military mess, a game of chess where France is queen and kingless. Who signed a treaty with a king whose head is now in a basket? Would you like to take it out and ask it? Or should we honor our treaty, King Louis' head? Uh, do whatever you want, I'm super dead That's Enough, enough, Hamilton is right Mr. President We're too fragile to start another fight But, sir, do we not fight for freedom? Sure, when the French figure out who's gonna lead them The people are leading The people are rioting, there's a difference Frankly, it's a little disquieting You would let your ideals blind you to reality Hamilton, sir, draft a statement of neutrality Did you forget Lafayette? 
What? Have you an ounce of regret? You accumulate debt, you accumulate power, yet in their hour of need you forget. Lafayette's a smart man, he'll be fine. And before he was your friend, he was mine. If we try to fight in every revolution in the world, we never stop. Where do we draw the line? So quick-witted. Alas, I admit it. I bet you were quite a lawyer. My defendants got acquitted. Yeah. Well, someone ought to remind you. What? You're nothing without Washington behind you. Hamilton. <gasps> Daddy's calling. It must be nice. It must be nice. To have Washington on your side It must be nice, it must be nice To have Washington on your side Every action has its equal opposite reaction Thanks to Hamilton, our cabinet's fractured into factions Try not to crack under the stress, we're breaking down like fractions We smack each other in the press and we don't print retractions I get no satisfaction witnessing his fits of passion The way he primps and preens and dresses like the pits of fashion Our poorest citizens, our farmers, live ration to ration As Wall Street robs them blind in search of chips to cash in This prick is asking for someone to bring him to task Somebody give me some dirt on this vacuous mask so we can at last unmask him I'll pull the trigger on him, someone load the gun and cock it While we were all watching, he got Washington in his pocket It must be nice, it must be nice To have Washington on your side It must be nice, it must be nice to have Washington on your side Look back at the Bill of Rights Which I wrote The ink hasn't dried It must be nice It must be nice To have Washington on your side So he's doubled the size of the government Wasn't the trouble with much of our previous government size Look in his eyes See how he lies Follow the scent of his enterprise Centralizing national credit and making American credit competitive If we don't stop it, we aid and abet it I have to resign Somebody has to stand up for the South well, Somebody has to stand up to his mouth If there's a fire you're trying to douse You can't put it out from inside the house I'm in the cabinet, I am complicit In watching him grabbing at power and kissing If Washington isn't gonna listen to discipline, dissidents this is the difference, this kid is out! Oh! This immigrant isn't somebody we chose Oh! This immigrant's keeping us all on our toes Oh! Let's show these federalists who they're up against Oh! Southern motherfucking Democratic Republicans Oh! Now follow the money and see where it goes Oh! Because every second the treasury grows Oh! If we follow the money and see where it leads Get in the weeds for the seeds of Hamilton's misdeeds It must be nice It must be nice Follow the money and see where it goes It must be nice It must be nice The emperor has no clothes We won't be invisible We won't be denied Still It must be nice It must be nice to have Washington on your side. Mr. President, you asked to see me. I know you're busy. What do you need, sir? Sir? I want to give you a word of warning. Sir, I don't know what you heard, but whatever it is, Jefferson started it. Thomas Jefferson resigned this morning. You're kidding. I need a favor Whatever you say, sir Jefferson will pay for this behavior Shh. Talk less I'll use the press I'll write under a pseudonym You'll see what I can do to him I need you to draft an address Yes, he resigned You can finally speak your mind No He's stepping down so he can run for president ha! Good luck defeating you, sir I'm stepping down I'm not running for president I'm sorry, what? One last time Relax, have a drink with me one last time Let's take a break tonight And then we'll teach him how to say goodbye To say goodbye You and I To talk about neutrality Sir With Britain and France on the verge of war Is this the best time? I want time? the war against partisan fighting what? Pick 
up a pen, start writing. I want to talk about what I have learned, the hard-won wisdom I have earned. As far as the people are concerned, you have to serve. You could continue to serve. No. One last time, the people will hear from me. One last time, and if we get this right, we're going to teach them how to say goodbye. me when I'm gone. Like the scripture says, everyone shall sit under their own vine and fig tree, and no one shall make them afraid. They'll be safe in the nation we've made. I want to sit under my own vine and fig tree, a moment alone in the shade, at home in this nation we one last time, one last time. Though in reviewing the incidents of my administration, I am unconscious of intentional error, I am nevertheless too sensible of my defects not to think it probable that I may have committed many errors. I shall also carry with me the hope that my country will view them with indulgence, and that after 45 years of my life dedicated to its service with an upright zeal, the faults of incompetent abilities will be consigned to oblivion, as I myself will soon be to the mansions of rest. I anticipate with pleasing expectation that retreat in which I promise myself to realize the sweet enjoyment of partaking in the midst of my fellow citizens. The benign influence of a good laws of a free government, the ever favorite object of my heart, and the happy reward, as I trust, of our mutual care, labors and dangers. One last time. George Washington's going home. Teach him how to say goodbye. George Washington's going home. You and I. Washington's yielding his power and stepping away. Is that true? I wasn't aware that was something a person could do. I'm perplexed. Are they going to keep on replacing whoever's in charge? If so, who's next? There's nobody else in their country who looms quite as large. John Adams? I know him. That can't be. That's that little guy who spoke to me all those years ago. What was it? 85. That poor man, they're going to eat him alive. Oceans rise, empires fall. Next to Washington, they all look small. All alone, watch them run. They will tear each other into pieces. Jesus Christ, this will be fun. Da 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 da
President John Adams, good luck. Out is Hamilton, the short-tempered protean creator of the Coast Guard, founder of the New York Post, ardently abuse his cabinet post, destroy his reputation. Welcome, folks, to the, the Adams, Adams administration. administration. Jefferson's the runner-up, which makes him the vice president. Washington can't help you now no more, Mr. Nice President. Adams fires Hamilton, privately calls him Creole <laughs> bastard in his taunts. Say what? Hamilton publishes his response. Sit down, John, you fat mother <laughs> Hamilton's out of control. This is great. He's out of power, he holds no office, and he just destroyed President John Adams, the only other significant member of his party. Hamilton is a host unto himself. As long as he can hold a pen, he's a threat. Let's let him know what we know. Mr. Vice President. Mr. Madison. Senator Burr. What is this? We have the check stubs from separate accounts. Almost a thousand dollars paid in different amounts to a Mr. James Reynolds way back in 1791. Is that what you have? Are you done? You are uniquely situated by virtue of your position. Though virtue is not a word I'd apply to this situation. To seek financial gain, to stray from your sacred mission. And the evidence suggests you engaged in speculation. An immigrant embezzling our government funds. I can almost see the headline, your career is done. I hope you save some money for your daughter and son. Your best one run back where you come from. You don't even know what you're asking me to confess. confess You have nothing, I don't have to tell you anything at all Unless, Unless. If I can prove that I never broke the law Do you promise not to tell another soul what you saw? No one else was in the room where it happened Is that a yes? Um, yes Dear sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health and in a prosperous enough position to put wealth in the pockets of people like me down on their luck. You see, that was my wife who you decided to. What? She courted me, escorted me to bed, and when she had me in a corner, that's when Reynolds extorted me for a sordid fee. I paid him quarterly. I may have mortally wounded my prospects, but my papers are orderly. As you can see, I kept a record of every check in my check in history. Check it again against your list and see consistency. I never spent a cent that wasn't mine. You sent the dogs after my scent. That's fine. Yes, I have reason for shame, but I have not committed treason and sullied my good name. As you can see, I have done nothing to provoke legal action. All my answers to your satisfaction. My God. Gentlemen, let's go. So? The people won't know what we know. Burr, how do I know you won't use this against me the next time we go toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Alexander, rumors only grow. And we both know what we know. of a hurricane there is quiet for just a moment a yellow sky when I was 17 a hurricane destroyed my town I didn't drown I couldn't seem to die I wrote my way out wrote everything down far as I could see I wrote my way out I looked up and the town had its eyes on me They passed a plate around And total strangers Moved to kindness By my story Raised enough for me to book passage on a ship that was New York bound I wrote my way out of hell I wrote my way to revolution I was louder than the crack in the bell I wrote Eliza Love letters until she fell I wrote about the constitution And defended it well 
And in the face of ignorance and resistance I wrote financial systems into existence And when my prayers to God were met with indifference I picked up a pen and I wrote my own deliverance In the eye of a hurricane there is quiet For just a moment A yellow sky I was 12 when my mother died She was holding me We were sick and she was holding me I couldn't seem to die Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it I'll write my way out Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it Write everything down far as I can see History has its I'll write my way out Overwhelm them with honesty eye of the hurricane, this is the only way I can protect my legacy. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait! The Reynolds Pamphlet. The Reynolds Pamphlet. Have you read this? Alexander Hamilton had a tour in a fair, and he wrote it down right there. Highlights! The charge against me is a connection with one James Reynolds. For purposes of improper speculation My real crime is an amorous connection with his wife For a considerable time with his knowing consent I had frequent meetings with her Most of them in my own house At his own house At his own house Mrs. Hamilton with our children being absent on a visit to her father No Have you read this? Well, he never gonna be president now Never gonna be president now Never gonna be president now Never gonna be president now. Never gonna be president now. Never gonna be president now. One less thing to worry about. That's one less thing to worry about. <laughs> I came as soon as I heard. Angelica. All the way from London. Damn. Angelica, thank God someone who understands what I'm struggling here to do. I'm not here for you. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. I love my sister more than anything in this life. I will choose her happiness over mine every time. Put what we had aside. I'm standing at her side. You can never be satisfied. God, I hope you're satisfied. Never gonna be president now. Never gonna be president now. Never gonna be president now. I saved every letter you wrote me From the moment I read them I knew you were mine You said you were mine I thought you were mine Do you know what Angelica said When we saw your first letter arrive? She said, be careful with that one, love He will do what it takes to survive you and your words flooded my senses Your sentences left me defenseless You built me palaces out of paragraphs You built cathedrals I'm rereading the letters you wrote me I'm searching and scanning for answers in every line For some kind of sign And when you were mine This girl into our bed In clearing your name You have ruined our lives Do you know what Angelica said When 
she read what you'd done, she said, You've married an Icarus. He has flown too close to the sun. You and your words obsessed with your legacy. Your sentences border on senseless, and you are paranoid in every paragraph. Graduate of King's College. I probably shouldn't brag, but that got amazing and astonished. The scholars say I got the same virtuosity. Your brains as my pops. The ladies say my brain's not where the resemblance stops. I'm only 19, but my mind is older. Gotta be my own man, like my father, but bolder. I shoulder his legacy with pride. I used to hear him say that someday I would blow us all away. Ladies, I'm looking for Mr. George Eager. Made a speech last week. I will fall the July speaker. He disparaged my father's legacy in front of a crowd. I can't have that. I'm making my father proud. I saw him dressed up Broadway a couple of blocks. He was going to see a play. Well, I go visit his box. God, you're a fox. Hey, y'all look pretty good in your frocks. How about when I get back, we all strip down to our socks? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blow us all the way. I'm trying to watch the show You should have watched your mouth before you talked about my father though I didn't say anything that wasn't true Your father's a scoundrel and so it seems to you Ooh. It's like that? Yeah, I don't fool around, I'm not your little schoolboy well, see you on the dueling ground That is unless you want to step outside and go now I know where to find you, piss off, I'm watching this show now If you had only heard the shit he said about you I doubt you would have let it slide And I was not about to Slow you. down I came to ask you for advice This is my very first duel They don't exactly cover this subject in boarding school Did your friends attempt to negotiate a peace? He refused to apologize We had to let the peace talk cease Where is this happening? Across the river in Jersey Everything, Everything is, is legal, legal in New Jersey, Jersey. Alright So this is what you're gonna do Stand there like a man Until Eker is in front of you When the time comes Fire your weapon in the air this will put an end to the whole affair. But what if he decides to shoot, then I'm a goner. No, you'll follow suit if he's truly a man of honor. To take someone's life, that is something you can't shake. Philip, your mother can't take another heartbreak. Father, promise me. You don't want this young man's blood on your conscience? Okay, I promise. Come back home when you're done. Take my guns. Be smart. Make me proud, son. My name is Philip. I am a poet. And I'm a little nervous, but I can't show it. I'm sorry, I'm a Hamilton with pride. You talk about my father, I cannot let it slide. Mr. Eaker, how was the rest of your show? I'd rather skip the pleasantries, let's go. Grab your pistol, confer with your men. The duel will commence after we count to ten. Count to ten. Look him in the eye, ain't no higher. Summon all the courage you require. And slowly and clearly aim your gun towards the sky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stay alive. Stay alive. Where is my 
my son! Mr. Hamilton, come in. They brought him in a half an hour ago. He lost a lot of blood Is on the way alive? over. Yes, but you have to understand. The bullet entered just above his hip and lodged in can his I right arm. Can I see him, please? I'm doing everything I can. But the wound was already infected when he arrived. Philip. Pa. I did exactly as you said, Pa. I held my head up high. I know, I know. Shh, I, I know, I know. Shh, I know you did everything just right. Even before we got to ten. I was aiming for the sky. I know, I know. I was aiming I know, for I the know. sky. I know, save your strength and stay alive. Is he breathing? Is he going to survive this? Who did this, Alexander? Did you know? Mom, I'm so sorry for forgetting what you taught me. My son, we play piano. I taught you piano. You would put your hands on my You changed the melody every time I would always change the line Shh, I know, I know I would always change the line I know, I know Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf Six, sept, huit, neuf Good Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf Sept, huit, neuf Sept, huit There are moments that the words don't reach There is suffering too terrible to name You hold your child as tight as you can And push away the unimaginable The moments when you're in so deep It feels easier to just swim down The Hamiltons move uptown And learn to live with the unimaginable I was in the garden I walk alone to the store And it's quiet uptown I never liked the quiet before I take the children to church on Sunday A sign of the cross at the door And I pray That never used to happen before you see him in the street, walking by himself, talking to himself, have pity. Philip, you would like it uptown, it's quiet uptown. He is working through the unimaginable. His hair has gone gray, he passes every day. They say he walks the length of the city. You knock me out, I fall apart. Can you imagine? Look at where we are, look at where we started I know I don't deserve you, Eliza But hear me out, that would be enough If I could spare his life If I could trade his life for mine He'd be standing here right now And you would smile, and that would be enough Tend to know the challenges we're facing. I know there's no replacing what we've lost, and you need time. But I'm not afraid. I know who I married. Just let me stay here by your side. Street, walking by her side, talking by her side, have pity. Eliza, do you like it uptown? It's quiet uptown. He is trying to do the unimaginable. See them walking in the park, long after dark, taking in the sights of the city. Look around, look around, Eliza. They are trying to do the unimaginable. 
is a grace too powerful to name We push away what we can never understand We push away the unimaginable They are standing in the garden Alexander by Eliza's side She takes his hand It's quiet uptown Forgiveness can you imagine forgiveness? Can you imagine if you see him in the street, walking by your side, talking by your side, have pity? Politics. Please. Yo. Every action has its equal opposite reaction. John Adams shat the bed. I love the guy, but he's in traction. Poor Alexander Hamilton. He is missing in action. So now I'm facing Aaron Burr with his own faction. He's very attractive in the North. New Yorkers like his chances. He's not very forthcoming on any particular stances. Ask him a question that glances off. He obfuscates. He dances. And they say I'm a Francophile. At least they know I know where France is. Thomas, that's the problem. See, they say See Burr as a less extreme you. Uh, you need to change course, a key endorsement might redeem you. Who did you have in mind? Don't laugh. Who is it? You used to work on the same staff. Uh, it might be nice, it might be nice to get Hamilton on your side. It might be nice, it might be nice to get Hamilton on your side. Talk less. Burr. Smile more. Burr. Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. Burr. Shake hands with him. Burr. Charm her. Burr. It's 1800. Ladies, tell your husbands, vote for Burr. Burr. I don't like Adams. Well, he's gonna lose. That's just defeatist. And Jefferson? In love with France. Yeah, he's so elitist. I like that Aaron Burr. I can't believe we're here with him. He seems approachable. Like who could grab a beer with him? Dear Mr. Hamilton, your fellow Federalists would like to know how you'll be voting. It's quiet up to Dear Mr. Hamilton, John Adams doesn't stand a chance, so who are you promoting? It's quiet up to Alexander, you've created quite a stir, sir. I'm going door to door. You're openly campaigning. Sure. That's new. Honestly, it's kind of draining. Burr. Sir. Is there anything you wouldn't do? No, I'm chasing what I want. And you know what? What? I learned that from you. If you had to choose, if you had to choose. It's a tie. If you had to choose, if you had to choose. It's up to the delegates. If you had to choose, if you had to choose. It's up to Hamilton. If you had to choose. Yeah. The people are asking to hear my voice. And the country is facing a difficult choice. And if you were to ask me who I'd promote, Jefferson has my vote. I had never agreed with Jefferson once. We have fought on like 75 different fronts. But when all is said and all is done, Jefferson has beliefs. Burr has none. Ooh. Well, I'll be damned. Well, I'll be damned. Hamilton's on your side. Well, I'll be damned. Well, I'll be damned. And you won on a landslide. Congrats on a race well run. I did give you a fight. Uh huh. I look forward to our partnership. Our partnership as your vice president. <laughs> yeah, right. You hear this guy? Man openly campaigns against me talking about I look forward to our partnership. <laughs> 
It is crazy that the guy who comes in second gets to be vice president. Oh, you know what? We could change that. You know why? Why? Because I am the president. Burr, when you see Hamilton, thank him for the endorsement. How does Hamilton, an arrogant, immigrant, orphan, bastard, poor son, somehow endorse Thomas Jefferson, his enemy? A man he's despised since the beginning, just to keep me from winning. I want to be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens, the room where it happens. You've kept me from the room where it happens for the last time. Dear Alexander, I am slow to anger, but I toe the line As I reckon with the effects of your life on mine I look back on where I failed, and in every place I checked The only common thread has been your disrespect Now you call me immoral a dangerous disgrace If you've got something to say Name a time and place Face to face I have the honor to be Your obedient servant A. Burr Mr. Vice President I am not the reason no one trusts you No one knows what you believe I will not equivocate on my opinion I have always worn it on my sleeve Even if I said what you think I said You would need to cite a more specific grievance Here's an itemized list of 30 years of disagreements Sweet Jesus Hey, I have not been shy I am just a guy in the public eye Trying to do my best for our republic I don't want to fight But I won't apologize for doing what's right I have the honor to be your obedient servant, A. Ham. Careful how you proceed, good man. Intemperate indeed, good man. Answer for the accusations I lay at your feet, or prepare to bleed, good man. Burr, your grievance is legitimate. I stand by what I said, every bit of it. You stand only for yourself. It's what you do. I can't apologize because it's true. Let's stand, Alexander. We hawking dawn. Guns drawn. You're on. I have the honor to be your obedient servant. A. Dot Ham. A. Dot Burr. Alexander, come back to sleep. I have an early meeting out of town. It's still dark outside I know I just need to write something down Why do you write like you're running out of time? Shh. Come back to bed, that would be enough I'll be back before you know I'm gone Come back to sleep This meeting's at dawn Well, I'm going back to sleep Hey Best of wives and best of women One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are ten things you need to know. Number one. We rode across the Hudson at dawn. My friend William P. Van Ness signed on as my number, number two. two. Hamilton arrived with his crew. Nathaniel Pendleton and the doctor that he knew. Number three. I watched Hamilton examine the terrain. I wish I could tell you what was happening in his brain. This man has poisoned my political pursuits. Most disputes die and no one shoots. Number four. Hamilton drew first position, looking to the world like a man on a mission. This is a soldier with a marksman's ability. The doctor turned around so he could have deniability. Five. Now I didn't know this at the time, but we were near the same spot. My son died, is that why? He examined his gun with such rigor. I watched as he methodically fiddled with the trigger. Seven. Confession time, here's what I got. My fellow soldiers will tell you I'm a terrible shot. Number eight. Your last chance to negotiate. Send in your second, see if they can set the record straight. They won't teach you this in your classes, but look it up, Hamilton was wearing his glasses. Why? If not to take deadly aim, it's him or me, the world will never be the same. 
I had only one thought before the slaughter. This man will not make an orphan of my daughter. Number nine. Look him in the eye, aim no higher. Summon all the courage you require. Then count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number ten. Pace is fire. I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory. Is this where it gets me? On my feet, several feet ahead of me. I see it coming. Do I run or fire my gun or let it be? There is no beat, no melody. Burr, my first friend, my enemy. Maybe the last face I ever see. If I throw away my shot, is this how you remember me? What if this bullet is my legacy? Legacy. What is a legacy? It's planting seeds in a garden you never get to see. I wrote some notes at the beginning of a song someone will sing for me. America, you great unfinished symphony, you sent for me. You let me make a difference. A place where even orphan immigrants can leave their fingerprints and rise up. I'm running out of time, I'm running in my time's up. Wise up, eyes up. I catch a glimpse of the other side. Lawrence leads a soldier's chorus on the other side. My son is on the other side. He's with my mother on the other side. Washington is watching from the other side. Teach me how to say goodbye. Rise up, rise up, rise up, Eliza. My love, take your time. I'll see you on the other side. Raise a glass to freedom. He aims his pistol at the sky, wait! I strike him right between his ribs. I walk towards him, but I am ushered away. They row him back across the Hudson. Tells me you'd better hide. They say Angelica and Eliza were both at his side when he died. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes. History obliterates, and every picture it paints, it paints me in all my mistakes. When Alexander aimed at the sky, he may have been the first one to die, but I'm the one who paid for it. I survived, but I paid for it. Now I'm the villain in your history. I was too young and blind to see. I should have known. I should have known the world was wide enough for both Hamilton and me. The world was wide enough for both Hamilton and me. Let me tell you what I wish I'd known when I was young and dreamed of glory. You have no control Who lives, who dies, who tells your story President Jefferson I'll give him this His financial system is a work of genius I couldn't undo it if I tried And I tried Who lives, who dies, who tells your story President Madison He took our country from bankruptcy to prosperity I hate to admit it But he doesn't get enough credit for all the credit he gave us who lives, who dies, who tells your story? Every other founding father's story gets told. Every other founding father gets to grow old. And when you're gone, who remembers your name? Who keeps your flame? Who tells, tells your story? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Eliza! I put myself back in the narrative. Eliza. I stop wasting time on tears. I live another fifty years. 
years, it's not enough. I interview every soldier who fought by your side. I try to make sense of your thousands of pages of writings. You really do write, but you're running out of time. I rely on Angelica. While she's alive, we tell your story. She is buried in Trinity Church near you. When I needed her most, she was right on time. What would you do if you had more time? The Lord in his kindness, he gives me what you always wanted. He gives me more time. I raise funds in D.C. for the Washington Monument. She tells my story. I speak out against slavery. You could have done so much more if you only had time. And when my time is up, have I done enough? Will they tell your story? I established the first private orphanage in New York City. The orphanage. I helped raise hundreds of children. I get to see them growing the up. Orphanage. In their eyes, I see you, Alexander. I see you every time. And when my time is up, have I done it? Who tells your story?